Yo, what is going on everyone in the XRP community? Hope you guys are having yourselves a fantastic day today, as usual. Uh, it is a bit of a bloody Monday for some of the leading altcoins out there. We got Ethereum down 4.2%, XRP down just 2%, Bitcoin Cash and Chainlink. I don't know whether it's a scam or not, both down almost 5%. Uh, Bitcoin, however, uh, since it is Bitcoin season, uh, which usually does happen before alt season, but you could also say alt season does happen for Bitcoin season sometimes. I don't know. Crypto space is weird. But it is Bitcoin season right now. That is a fact. And it's only down half a percent. Uh, if you read the daily chart left to right, looking at what Bitcoin accomplished in just the month of October compared to this little tiny, tiny retracement we're having here. I mean, um, I, I don't think that is going to accomplish anything. Uh, I think that is just a discount that is going to be fuel for Bitcoin to get back above previous highs and then start headed towards the 14K region. Uh, Ethereum on the daily. This level right here was support, turn resistance, and now might be support again. So we'll see that there with Ethereum. So XRP, guys, I do have an update for you. I am kind of sitting on the edge of my seat right now because we do have this rising wedge on XRP. Now, as you guys know, we have had plenty of bullish XRP formations and price goes down like crazy. So I'm thinking, okay, this is the crypto space. Anything can really happen here. We've had plenty, plenty, plenty of uh, uh, bullish formations like ascending triangles, symmetrical triangles that like bull flags that we thought would break to the upside and they end up breaking to the downside. So now that we have a technical formation that's supposed to be bearish, which XRP is now testing the support of, because when I notified you guys of this uh, rising wedge in the daily uh, from a video a couple of days ago, uh, it was, this is what it looked like. And then now, this morning, uh, it is literally to the point uh, touching that trend line. So I... I don't know, like, it, XRP definitely could break down, uh, however, we do have this little, uh, resistance zone where, see, it was, like, previously resistance, and then actually turned into support for XRP, but it broke below it again, got above it again, now it's coming back down, so, although it is a rising wedge, just know, we could break to the upside, because here's the thing, uh, with manipulation in the crypto space, if the herd is thinking, "Oh my God, we're all going one way," oh God, look at the look at the rise wedge, oh my God, we're going down, sell, 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 and you just got that one big boy that could literally turn the market around and make the rising wedge actually break out, uh, because whew, I mean, damn. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of lost for words here because I want you guys to know I want this thing to the break to the upside, but is it? Re more realistic and maybe even better in a sense for it to break down, catch support, let Bitcoin run like crazy, and then have this slingshot action with XRP. Because uh, if I remember correctly, uh, before the big, big, uh, crazy, you know, massive 70,000% historical impulse, I mean, uh, before that stuff was happening, I mean, my God, XRP did have a lot of scam wicks down to low, low levels, super crazy volatility, I mean, look, you're going a high of 33 cents one week, and then the next week it's down to a low of 15 cents, but then it kind of acts like a slingshot, if you know what I'm saying, so do not be upset. That's really kind of my point here is do not be upset if we do break down from this rising wedge because why do assets go down? They go down to come up again, especially good assets with intrinsic value. They go down just to come up again, right? So if this does break down, do not be upset, but man. We could break up from this. Like, it's a bearish formation, but I think there is a chance we can break up from this. And guys, just keep a watch today for the daily close. I might actually honestly stream like an hour before the daily close and see what happens here. Because if we get a close below this rising wedge, 
I mean, we can still even bounce at that point. If we break below it, and as long as we catch this support around 24 cents or maybe this uh, old resistance at 0.243, we could treat as support. I mean, we could break below and still actually bounce out, right? But let's say the daily gets down to like the 23 and a half cent range. It's just a huge red candle. Then we're kind of screwed for a little bit. We're off some consolidation and then have to build back up another day. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be on the edge of my seat all day. Uh, I'll be streaming a hour before the daily close. And man, let's just hope this rising wedge turns out good for XRP holders. So guys, let's see what happens. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in the video today. Really do appreciate it. Make sure to smash the like, subscribe, check the links in the description if you do want to support the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.